Hello everyone. Now I will present on our work revealing the weakness of addition chain based masked S box implementations. My name is Ming Jingdian. I am the first author of this paper. I come from the Institute of Information Engineering, Chinese Academy of Science. This presentation is divided into four parts, and I will start at introduction and previous work. Cell channel attacks exploit various physical leakages, such as the running time, the power consumption, the EM emanations. Using these leakage, the adversary is able to recover the sensitive data of a crypto system. Among all common measures against cell channel attacks, masking is one of the most widely used for its great performance. Specifically, masking randomizes the dependency between the sensitive intermediate and its corresponding leakage by splitting the sensitive value into d plus 1 shares. When protecting the cryptographic algorithm using masking, the linear operations are simple to mask. Because for a linear function, it is sufficient to compute for each share separately. But the nonlinear operations are difficult to mask. There are mainly two ways with acceptable cost to solve this problem. The first one is lookup table based implementation. And it is needed to generate a masked table for this solution. The second one is compute the annual functions over a finite field. In this solution, the Xbox is achieved by several masked computations over a finite field. Here is a table for the running time of protected implementations of AES. It can be seen that the lookup table based solution costs at least four times more than that of the computation based one. Thus, in this paper, we, we focus on the computation based implementations. Addition chain is widely used for its computation based mask Xbox implementations. Specifically, the Xbox can be expressed as a sequence of squares and multiplications. These nonlinear multiplications can be then implemented using previously known schemes such as SW. Here is one of the most popular addition chain for AES as box. Lots of massive schemes are using this addition chain. For example, the pooling masking, the mixed additive and multiplicative masking, the inner product masking. Most studies focus on the analysis on the final Xbox outputs. However, the addition chain implementations induce lots of extra computations for monomials. In particular, mo uh, the nearly half monomials over the finite field are not balanced. And now that the unfunc function is said to be balanced if every output element admits the same number of inputs of pre image So a natural question is that what if the computations of some intermediate monomials leak more than the Xbox outputs, especially some unbalanced monomials? Here is an example for 4-bit case. It is a simulated experiment of higher order CPA attack, and the simulated leakage of each share are under Hemingway model, and the combined leakages are obtained by a normalized product. 
it can be seen that the results can be divided into four groups. So next, we introduce our resistance measurement, which can help re explain the results. Transparency order, which is called TO for short, was proposed to focus on the intrinsic resilience of S-boxes. Namely, TO quantifies the basic DPA resilience of S-box. So we introduce DPA briefly. In DPA, the liquid traces are divided into two groups based on the J-speed of S-box output. And their differential expectation is a distinguisher value. If the leakage is assumed to follow Hamming weight model and the analysis of its N traces, we denote T as a plan taxis. Then the distinguisher can be expressed as this equation. However, if the function is unbalanced, the target bit may always be 0 or 1, which leads to the fact that the leakage cannot be divided into two groups. And then the following calculation for TO become meaningless. Actually, it is not a hard problem to be fixed. In unbalanced functions, some output bits may be always 0 or 1, which are useless for distinguishing the secret key. So, when the output bits are always 0 or 1, we define the distinguished a differential value equal to zero. Then we have this equation. Sum the distinguishable value on all bits for all key hypotheses, we get a new notion which is able to measure the DPA resonance for all functions. And this notion is named polygon degree in our work. There are three properties of polygon degree. The first one is that the smaller polygon degree of a function is, the stronger it resists against such an attacks. The second one is that for a function f, we have that its polygon degree is higher than 0 but lower than 1. And last, the polygon degree is also valid in higher order attacks because that the ex expectation of combined leakage follow a linear transformation of Hamming weight distribution. And then we, we introduce how to verify the soundness of polygon degree. And the polygon degree is called PD for short. Step 1 is to calculate the PD values for all mon monomials over the finite field. And then we perform simulated higher order CPA on all monomials. The leakage are also under Hamming-Witt model. And last, we match the PD values and the simulated attack results. If we classify the results on 4-bit cases, we can find that uh, based on the PD value, the, their resistance is that the class 3 is lower than class 7 and lower than class 5 and last lower than class 1. It can be seen that the PD values match the attack results well. We additionally verified on the 6-bit cases, and we can find that the powers fall into the same PD value if the exponents lie in the same cyclonic class. There are a total of 62 monomials for the 
six-bit cases. And the results are shown as a histogram. The y-axis shows the number of traces for gas entropy to be below 4. It can be seen that the smaller PD value comes with the stronger resistance, which ver verifies the property. And the number of traces for the monomial function with the lowest PD is nearly three times than the highest one. As for the 8-bit simulation, there are 254 monomials and a total of 34 classes. So we use inverse functions to fit these results. It can be seen that uh, the, the results match the PD values as well. Besides, we also tried other set channel metrics. Inf information theoretic metrics are widely used as indicators for, for set channel attacks. And mutual information is a well-known information theoretic metric. So we use it in our work. The results for 4-bit case and 6-bit case are shown. It can be seen that the monomials with the same output size fall into the same class. And mutual information metric does not match, match the results well as the PD does. And next, we introduce our practical experiments. In our work, the AES S box is as a study case because, firstly, AES is one of the most popular box cipher, and AES S box can be expressed simply over the finite field. And moreover, there are many public mass implementations for AES block cipher. And here comes the first problem, problem is that how to find all feasible and the most efficient addition, chain, addition chains. Uh, the most efficient addition chain needs to have four multiplications and seven squares. Step one is to find the addition chains in, including four multiplications. And we uh, randomly choose two elements to add, then we can get a new set. Uh, we union, union the new set and the initial exponent, exponential set. As for additions, we, ju we judge the, does the 254 belong to the final exponential set. If it is, then this addition chain uh, includes the uh, four multiplications. And the step two is to count the number of squares in this addition chain. Uh, our, our approach is to sum the squares number from the red to the orange in each cyclo cyclomic class. Then we get 1330 addition chains with 4 multiplications and 7 squares. And, and now are with the lower square number. Moreover, we assume that there are two types of adversaries. The adversary one has limited computational resources, so he is only able to find the leakage with corresponding to one sensitive intermediate. In, for this for this adversary, the measurement is a, is a max PD value. And the adversary two has enough computational resources. Resources, 
so he is able to launch higher order attack on all sensitive intermediates. Then sum the results together to achieve a higher success rate. Thus, the measurement for this adversary is the uh, is the sum of PD values. With with the two measurements, we find three typical addition chains. The first one is the weakest addition chains for both two adversary, and the second one is the strongest addition chain for both adversaries. And the second is a strong addition chain and can be pro proceeded in parallel. Here is our experiment setup. The power traces are collected by a chip whisper light board, and the code are running on a ARM Cortex M4 based microcontroller. The leakage is shown, and we can find that it, it clearly is a low noise scanner. But the noise level for different monomials are also different, which will affect the attack results. The EM traces are collected by an Angelin oscilloscope with an EM probe. The code is also running on an ARM Cortex M4 based microcontroller. Clearly, it is a high noise scanner. You can see its leakage. Uh, the correlation coefficient of leakage and uh, the corresponding sensitive value is lower. But the difference of noise level for monomials get more obviously, which may affect the attack results more greatly. Here is our power analysis. And it can be seen that all the implementations can be broken within a small amount of traces. More and the two strong addition chains are always better than the other two. And most important, in the worst cases, the resistance is close to that of unprotected ESS box. And here is the result for EM analysis. Since it is not direct to understand, our main results are summarized in a table. Uh, in this table, we can see that in the worst case, uh, its resistance is also close to that of unprotected AES implementation. Besides, we can find that the attacks on the other three addition chain become less efficient for the adversary too. It is because that the inefficient results on some monomials, such as the X, the two power of X are combined and negatively affect the final attack result. What's more, we also launch profiled attacks, and they are the template attack and the deep learning based attack. In template attack, we get the probability of each shares in each trace. Then we get the prob probability of the sensitive data on each trace. With the help of the inverse map, uh, the pr probability for sensitive intermediate can map to the secret key. And we add up the probabilities for key of each trace, then we get the, the probability for all key hypothesis, and the max probability is our result. As for the deep learning based attack, it is training using a CNN model. And the last fully connected layer contains the 
number of the output of the function f. Our targets are two typical functions, the 85 power of x and the s boxes. It can be seen that with increasing noise, attack on the 85 power of x becomes more efficient. And since the smaller size of the 85 power of x, the cost for storing templates and the running attacks are also lower. And this is the uh, experimental environments and the CNN architecture. The network architectures may be not optimal, as our goal is to uh, compare the different addition chains but not to find optimal par parameters. It can be seen that with increasing noise, attack on the 85 power of x becomes more efficient as well. Finally, we conclude our work. In our work, we target on the addition chain implementation using blink masking. Then we propose a new notion named polygon degree to qualify the side channel resistance of a function. And we also try the mutual information as a metric. And last, we validate our metric using higher order CPA, the template attack, and the deep learning based attack. However, this work has not been completed. Besides the addition chain implementation, there might be other implementations, including the unbalanced functions. Moreover, the unbalanced functions may be also affect the security for other masking schemes, such as the multiplicative masking, the inner product masking, the shamir secret sharing, and other schemes. Then we may need other metrics to qualify the side channel resistance and validate them with other distinguishers. This is my presentation. Thanks for watching.